A city in Fukushima Prefecture has begun monitoring radiation levels of farmland and forests. Tamuna City asked the Japan, Japan Atomic Energy Agency to test for contamination, despite the government lifting an evacuation advisory for the area. The city lies outside a 20-kilometer no-entry zone around the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, but officials are concerned about radiation levels. On Wednesday, the Japan Atomic Energy Agency began testing forests in a 4.5-hectare rice field using an unmanned helicopter equipped with a Geiger counter hovering about 20 meters above the ground. Data is transmitted in real time and converted into radiation levels one meter above ground. The agency uses aircraft to measure radiation levels of large areas and locations that are difficult to access. We'll be able to spot an area with high radiation levels. I hope the aircraft makes the decontamination work much easier. The Japanese government is officially revising some geodetic measurements after tectonic changes caused by the March 11th earthquake. The massive quake and ensuing aftershocks have shifted the ground across Japan, mainly in the northeast and central regions. In Miyagi Prefecture, the ground has shifted more than five meters to the east. Well, Japan's Geospatial Information Authority says about 45,000 control points for measuring longitude, latitude and elevation have moved. The authority's new measurements show that in Tokyo's Minato Ward, the origin points of Long, longitude and latitude have moved 27 centimeters to the east. In Chiyoda Ward, elevation has sunk 2.4 centimeters. According uh, to a government order, the spatial authority is to revise data on Friday. It will be resetting measurement control points across Japan and will release the new data on October 31st. It is the first change in movement caused by the Great Kanto earthquake in 1923. A patch of garbage spotted in the middle of the ocean seven months after the devastating earthquake and tsunami that rocked parts of Japan. It could be the first official report of debris coming from Japan headed towards Hawaii. And it's coming much earlier than the two years that researchers had predicted it would. KITV4's Lara Yamada reports. Seven months ago, the triple disaster in Japan, ever since then. You have uh, in rough estimate between 5 to 20 million tons of debris coming from Japan. An average of 10 million tons of debris, the same amount released in the North Pacific Basin in one year, dislodged and set adrift in one day. And uh, Hawaii is just in a path. Since March 11th, scientific researcher Jan Hafner has been watching, monitoring, calculating that wave of debris on a specialized computer program that follows and analyzes the currents. In September, a stroke of luck, a meeting with Russian senior researcher Nikolai Maximenko and his crew of the STS Palada. They were here training on ocean currents, docked in Honolulu and on their way back home. Hafner knew they could help. Their path back to Russia Across, exactly across the projected field of the tsunami debris. Soon after passing the Midway Islands on September 22nd, they hit the edge of the tsunami debris. They saw some uh, pieces of furniture, some appliances. So anything that can float, uh, they picked a fishing boat. A 20-foot fishing boat. On it, the word Fukushima. That's our actually first confirmed report of uh, tsunami debris. And more news that would force Hafner to change his predictions. The crew hit lighter debris, plastic, styrofoam, the stuff carried by currents and wind, even sooner. So we uh, projected the, the debris would hit midway in spring next year. But based on the Palada finding, uh, the debris is, seems to be moving faster. Critical research as we wait for the inevitable. So we do not want to create a panic in public, but of, of course it's uh, good to know it's coming. Laura Yamada, KITV4 News. Now Hafner and the UH researchers predict that first wave of tsunami debris will hit Midway Atoll by this winter and then Hawaii in less than two years. But they're still kind of in the process of revising those numbers, so the models show it will move on to that debris patch. It's called the North Pacific Garbage Patch between Hawaii and the West Coast, and then possibly bounce back and send even more debris to Hawaii's east shores 
in about four to five years.